Okay, so we have a geometric word problem. The beginning is familiar. The true sides are compared in such a way that we're tempted to label one side by x, and then we can easily express the other side in terms of x. We have that the other side is 12 inches less than 3 times this side. So that's 3x minus 12. We have seen that many times, but now it becomes quadratic, because instead of the perimeter, the area is given, and that's going to cause a quadratic expression. So this is going to be a quadratic equation. The area is given to be 1575 square inches, so the equation we can write is that one side times the other is the given area. So now the word problem is over and we just have a quadratic equation to deal with. Because the equation is quadratic, we're going to multiply out this parenthesis reduce this side to 0, and then factor and apply the 0 product rule. So we have 3x squared minus 12x minus 1575 equals to 0. We're going to complete the square. Completing the square only works if the leading coefficient is 1. So we're going to get rid of that 3. I'm just going to factor it out. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 525. Okay. So now we can proceed completing the square. Half of the linear coefficient is negative 2. So our complete square to go for is x minus 2 squared. When we expand that, we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 2x will give us minus 4x and plus 4. So what that means is we should smuggle in 4. So we left a little gap for the smuggling step. We're just going to add 0. We're allowed to do that always. So now we have, instead of the three terms, we have five of them. The first three gets absorbed into the complete square. Indeed, x squared minus 4x plus 4 is x minus 2 squared. And negative 4 and negative 525 can be combined to negative 529. So if we want to find out what number squares to 529, we need to know how to work the square root button. This here is the square root button, and it's written above the button with light blue, meaning that first we have to push the shift. So we want to take, and in this calculator, what, in whatever way you write or say things is the way we enter. So square root of, so the calculator opened a little square root sign, 5, 2, 9, and we should always close this parenthesis. If you don't do it now, it's not going to hurt, but later on it will, it will get you if you don't do it. So yes, it is a square. Uh, 529 is 23 squared. So now we're going to factor via the difference of squares theorem. A will be played by x minus 2, B will be played by 23. And then x minus 2 squared minus 23 squared can be factored as x minus 2 plus 23, x minus 2 minus 23. So let's do that. Okay, so now we're almost done. We're just going to clean up the factors by combining like terms. We have x plus 21 times x minus 25. So there are two solutions, negative 21 and 25. But we should remember that no one gave us an equation. We're in the middle of a word problem, right? If we go back and remind ourselves that x represented a distance, that means that negative 21 is out of question. Negative 21 cannot play the role of a side because it's negative. And that kind of takes care of the most interesting and most difficult part in these quadratic word problems is figuring out which one doesn't work. Sometimes they both work. Now in this case, the negative one cannot. So if x is 25, then this side of the rectangle is 25, and 3 times 25 minus 12, 3 times 25 is 75, 75 minus 12 is 63. So we think that the rectangle is a 25, look up the units, we had inches. We think that this is the answer. So let's check. Comparison between the two sides was given, namely that one side is 12 less than 3 times another side. That's kind of trivially true because that's, how, that's what we use to come up with 63. But what about the area? Is it true that 25 times 63 is indeed the right number? Do we have the right area? So... <coughs> 25 times 63. Yep. So our answer that the rectangle is 25 inches by 63 inches is indeed correct. Thank you for watching.